Well, good morning. It is day 44. My heavens, what a journey it's been. All right, it is raining. Um, the radar shows it's supposed to be intermittent, but uh, don't believe the radar here in uh, Galicia. <laughs> I've learned that. Um, I've got the pack covered. I've got my credential in a Ziploc bag tucked in my backpack, covered with other clothes. So everything that is important as far as documentation is uh, protected. Got the poncho on, as you can see. And we're gonna go just as fast as we can safely. Um, I'm not expecting to get there in time for the noon mass, but we'll see. It is um, almost six o'clock. And, uh, oops, <laughs> sorry about that. It's almost six o'clock and um, uh, like I said, it's raining. Part of the way is gonna be um, in um, dirt, which is probably gonna be mud, so we'll have to be really careful. And uh, there's already pilgrims out, so I'm certainly not the first one out, but we'll see what happens, all right? Uh, it's gonna be a journey today, so let's get going. Sorry I couldn't uh, film as much going out of town as normal, but uh, I really needed the flashlight to see uh, through the path. Uh, the lights of Santiago are in front of us. Uh, the rain has stopped for the moment. I'm gonna keep the poncho on. <laughs> Too hard to get on and off. So until I know that the uh, weather is cleared, I'm gonna stay on with it. Um, I think I forgot to mention we only have 12 miles today. Uh, so, about 19 kilometers, not bad. And uh, lots of people out. So let's keep going to Santiago. Well, there it is, off in the distance. We have about uh, eight more miles. And so far, the rain has held off uh, for now. So let's get going. So the uh, first half of this uh, section is through uh, eucalyptus forest. Because of the, the darkness and the rain, you really couldn't see. Uh, about an hour ago, I uh, really couldn't film, but now that the sun's up, you can see it's just, just beautiful. And uh, this is gonna lead us into the city. Um, if we're lucky, we will get to see our first glimpse of the cathedral um, at the top of the mountain here. So let's cross our fingers and see. Uh, it's just gonna depend on the, on the cloud cover. But again, the rain is holding off for now. We uh, don't have too much further, but Ah, trying to enjoy every moment, but also I want to beat the rain. <laughs> the uh, walk into the plaza. That will be very emotional. <laughs> so, uh, looking forward to that. <laughs> it's been a long journey, but it's been a fun one. Wouldn't have changed a thing. Injury, weather, nope, it's all good. So, ah, wish you could smell the eucalyptus. Wow. Okay, let me put this down and uh, walk through some mud. All right, 10K. Ah, that means 6.2 miles. I don't want to jinx it, but there's a blue sky. <sighs> I think we have uh, 
a little under two hours to go. That's assuming I don't stop too much. I have a feeling that uh, if the weather looks good, I uh, probably will be stopping a few times. Uh, haven't had breakfast yet, but nothing new. It's uh, 8.20, uh, but uh, I could use a cafe. So we'll see what's ahead, but uh, at least for the moment, uh, the rain has held off, so we'll see. Lots of pilgrims, uh, people going at different paces, some trying to make this day as long as possible, others trying to get to the cathedral for the noon pilgrim mass. Uh, so we'll see what happens. All right, oh, got a little turn up here. Well, I guess I did jinx it. <laughs> uh, looks like the last three miles is uh, gonna be in the rain, but uh, that's okay. Got the poncho back on, uh, just stopped for a uh, cafe con leche and a little uh, croissant. And uh, now it's time to uh, go back on the road. statue to the uh, Knights Templar, who were the uh, protectors of the pilgrims. This is the famous sign and uh, pilgrims usually leave their shoes or other mementos here. Um, just had my photo taken and took some for other people. Okay, on to the cathedral. Well, I don't know if you can see, but Behind me, you can just see the top of the spire, uh, one of the spires of the cathedral. So, yeah. I'm not sure how this is the end or is it just the beginning? Um, yeah, 500 miles in 44 days. And I walk nearly all of it. <sighs> Amazing. <sighs> Would I do it again? Absolutely. <sighs> but <sighs> let's go on down and uh, maybe uh, get a beer <laughs> or something and uh, head on to the cathedral and uh, got to get our Compostela. Okay, almost there. Well, I made it 1030, um, what was that, four and a half hours, uh, a little over 12 miles. Absolutely amazing journey. 44 days, 500 miles, walked nearly all of it. Um,
Okay, got my Compostela and my certificate of distance. It was really nice. She allowed me to uh, video. Uh, the last time we were here, we were not allowed to take photos um, in that office. Not quite sure why, but she was really nice. So now I am heading towards the um, hotel. Hopefully they'll let me check in and get dry and then uh, eat and maybe get some uh, better photos after the rain passes. Okay, I knew my hotel was close to the cathedral. Didn't know it was this close. Look at this. I have a little terrace and right there is the plaza. I just showed you that. Wow, great location. Okay, it is time for me to huh, put away wet things, get a shower, and then I'm gonna go tour the city. Oh, and I have a second terrace. All right, nice corner room. This is a good day. So when I arrived in the plaza earlier today, it was pouring down rain and the bagpiper wasn't here. So it was kind of an odd, anticlimactic maybe, entrance into the plaza and a finish to the Camino del Norte. But now it's just kind of a light sprinkle and the bagpiper is playing. So let's do this one more time. of a proper entrance into the plaza. They have a system where you uh, scan a QR code and you get a number that gives you a place in line. But I didn't have internet access, so they allowed me to come inside, fill out a piece of paper, and I immediately was put at the front of the line. So it was really a short wait for me. Um, 
very different than the last time we were here where I think we were in line maybe 40 minutes. Um, it was a pretty good wait, but this seems much more efficient. And uh, they are requiring masks since this is an official office. Um, I really like that and I can appreciate that. So there we go. Sarah has arrived and uh, I believe she's in there getting her Compostela right now. So we're going to meet up and uh, hang out this evening. Sarah and I enjoyed a lovely evening together, shared one more meal, uh, tapas and wine. And uh, of course, we finished off with our cafe and crema. Uh, she has completely uh, made me addicted to uh, espresso with Bailey's at the end of a meal. She's on her way uh, tomorrow to Finisterra and Mushia on a bus, and then she'll be walking. I am going to uh, relax and walk around the city and just kind of uh, decompress from the Camino. I hope you've enjoyed um, these videos. I'll sh um, do a couple more uh, before I leave just to show you the city. Some people have asked about accommodations and equipment. I'll be doing uh, some short videos on those as well. But thank you again to all my subscribers and followers. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell uh, so you are aware of when I post new videos. Thank you again and uh, take care. Bye-bye.